Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day. And today's video is going to be a product empties video. These are super fun. I find them kind of relaxing. It's like a bunch of mini reviews. Did I like these things? Will I repurchase them? Have I already repurchased them? And will I avoid them if they're bad? So, I have a whole bunch of stuff here. It's uh, some skincare, some body stuff, and some candles. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, I got my little container here. I decided to film this video today because it's super easy. It is 91 degrees and this filming room does not have air conditioning. So I'm trying to film an easy video. It doesn't take me an hour to film. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into it. Also, if you haven't seen my hair dye video, I did dye my hair. It's like red and purples and stuff. Firstly, is this thing. It came in a boxy Lux, I believe. Yeah, I think it was the Lux. It is a Rituals, the Ritual of Sakura. Sensational foaming shower gel. It's like one of these little aerosol y kind of cans. Like it's like the mousse the foam comes out of. And it was alright. It smelled like cherry blossoms. Wasn't, I mean, it was like super lathery because it was a foam, but it wasn't like revolutionary. It made my skin feel fine. I wouldn't repurchase it. I wouldn't go out of my way to go find this product, but it was okay. I've never heard of Rituals before, um, but it was, I like the, the foamy can. I think it was fun to use, but I also feel like this kind of can. It's wasteful because it can't be recycled. Alright, next up. It looks like there's still stuff in here, but it's just on the edges. So this is the Unicorn Hair Orange Pop by Lime Crime Hair Dye. I had orange hair forever. We just got rid of the orange hair, but it was really nice. It fades a lot faster than Arctic Fox, but it's also a little bit more pastel. So if that's what you're into, I found it at Marshall's for $5.99. I would purchase it again if I found it at Marshall's for 5 bucks, Just because I need like back of oranges and stuff. It's not my most revolutionary fun hair color in the world. But for $5.99, like I would totally purchase it again. Next up, I believe this was Adam's when he was living with me. This is the Maui Moisture Coconut Milk Shampoo for dry hair. He seemed to really like it. He still uses Maui, as far as I know. Um, just continue to utilize that brand. And apparently that was like an okay product. Kept using it. So, oh, we have another Maui one. So, this is a conditioner. So, that was a shampoo. This is a conditioner. This is the Lightweight and Hydration Hibiscus Water. I believe he liked the shampoo more than this conditioner smell hibiscus. But... It's still cute. I'm just throwing it into a trash can afterwards. <laughs> Alright, next up we have a candle. Uh, I think we have two of these. Yeah, we have two of these because in my last, I think it was the last of these video, I told you I was looking for more of these candles and I found two at TJ Maxx one day, so I bought both of them. I don't know how much they were. $7.99. The Calming Waves from DW Home. They used to be sold at Barnes & Noble. I found them at TJ Maxx. I burned both of them to the bottom. <laughs> It smells so good, even just opening up to show you the bottoms of them, like, they smell so good. Like, these are great candles. If I see another one, I'm totally purchasing a backup one. Well, I guess I need another one because I burned both of mine. I don't have one now. Um, other candles, we have this one, which was from Barnes & Noble. I bought this last year as well when they were out. I don't think it's there anymore. I haven't seen another one. This is the Luxury Soy Candle from Illum. Illum sounds familiar. Coconut Milk Mango. This was $10, which is a lot, but I love... The smell. I mean, it definitely smells like coconut mangoey, kind of soft. It's such a light, beautiful daytime candle. Also, the calming waves are daytime candles. They're just so freaking good. Next up, we have two concealers. So these are two empties that I had in my filming room. I have I had three empty ones, and I kept one that had the most in here for like cut creases. But these are the two other empty ones. We have fair beige and porcelain beige, more of a wintry one, more of a normal time of the year thing. Two empty shape tapes. I never took the plug out of these, um, but I probably should have. But since I have so many other extra empty ones, I'm not going to take the plugs out for that. But it feels bad throwing these away when there's like a little baby bit left in there, but it's just a lot of work to get the last bit of it out. All right, last candle, the five o'clock shadow, the manly indulgence candle. It's a nighttime candle for me, a manly scented candle. I like men, <laughs> so... I get men scented candles and this one was just so good. It smells kind of like a fake leather, um, but it just smells great. I like a manly scented candle. So we went through four candles in this last empties. I feel like my latest empties wasn't too long ago. I just, I, I went through a lot of candles and took up my container. So next is a conditioner I used. This was the Beauty and Planet, which is a Target brand. Coconut water and mimosa flower volume and body can flat volume and bounty conditioner it was all right I feel like this little 
you open up like that. I kept like, it was kind of hard to get the stuff out. So I went and got, like when I ran out of this one, I decided I wasn't going to use this one. It didn't really do anything for me. I got a pump conditioner and I like that so much more. This one was just kind of like, you kept having to squish the bottle every time, even when it wasn't super, super low on products. So irritating. I wouldn't buy it again, but the conditioner itself was okay. Next up, we have another shape tape. I guess I had four empty ones and I kept, I got rid of three, kept one. This one's also a fair beige. I just didn't realize that I went through that many shape tapes. I mean, it's my go-to concealer. It's what I'm wearing today. It's my go-to. I go through a lot of them, but they're so expensive. That's why I keep the MD ones, because I don't want to get rid of it. There's like a little bit left in there, because it's so expensive for a concealer. Like, it's a lot. It's so good that I keep purchasing it, so I guess it's worth it, right? Next up is a Renew contact lens solution. Woo! Not exciting. <laughs> Not exciting. After that, we have some, oh, hair products. So this is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Detox Shampoo. I got this for 100 points at Sephora. I hated it. I hate it so much. And now this full size thing is a TJ Maxx. It's the Hair and Scalp Shampoo Perfect Hair Day Triple Detox. It had no lather. It was a black shampoo, which I thought was pretty cool. That was the only thing I liked about it, no lather. I had to like add extra shampoo to it even when I used like a lot of this just to like make it feel like it was actually moving around in my hair. It kind of just wanted to like stay where it was and not really like feel like it was washing my hair. I hated it so much. I would never buy this. Like I wasted 100 points. Maybe I could have got like nothing else at Sephora. They have a terrible words program. <laughs> Anyways, next up is something that I've had for a long, long time and I forgot to use for a long time. So this is the Tatcha Water Cream. It's a little baby size. It feels so heavy because the container is so heavy, but I used every little bit of it out of here. I really enjoyed it, but I, it just feels like a normal water cream. It's nothing revolutionary. I'm sorry. It's good. The container feels heavy, but this is all container. Like how thick this container is. Are you kidding me? It's all container. All right, last three things. We have a face mask. This is the Khaleesi Caffeine Nourishing Sheet Mask. I didn't know if I was going to keep the sheet mask container for empties because they kind of like the serum and stuff inside. I love the caffeine sheet masks. They're really good. I have a bunch of them. I usually buy them on eBay for like packs of five for pretty decently cheap because they're really expensive on Khaleesi's website. So yeah. I even like try to join the Khaleesi affiliate program hoping to get some sheet masks. I'm not gonna lie like I'll be upfront about it but it didn't happen and I really love their sheet masks so I just buy them on Amazon. Not during this whole situation. I have other things to worry about but they're really good. I think I have like five left of them. Uh, after that, we have two things left. So this is two hair dyes from Arctic Fox. We have a full size, an eight ounce bottle of Purple Rain as well as Sunset Orange. Purple Rain, obviously, and then Sunset Orange because I've been orange for most of this year so far. So these are the last two things. We had a lot of hair dye, a lot of conditioners, and a lot of candles in this video. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to fill this thing up with more products. I feel like it's really satisfying when I actually finish up a product. I feel like it doesn't happen enough and I like completing a thing. Like I feel like that's why people find project pans and stuff so satisfying is because you're finishing something and that's really awesome and I hope to do more finishing things. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't down below. I highly doubt you're watching an empties video if you're not already subscribed. See the doesn't feel like some people are like searching for. <laughs> anyways, I'll see you later. Bye.